all right so i got an email so here i am trying to answer his questions in the email so this brother wants to study phd in management science in ireland and uh, especially in the university i am currently working uh, atlantic technological university uh, uh, he wants to do phd here uh, and then uh, he is searching for some scholarship and he wants to relocate with his family uh, in ireland and uh, so could you please provide information on the most suitable scholarship for the international students particularly those that offer substantial support for family relocation good question um, and then he asked another three questions number one which scholarship should i consider to maximize financial support and ensure a smooth transition for my family so it's kind of same question as you asked before and number two are the years spent in phd program counted towards the residency period required for the obtaining a permanent residency in ireland that's also a good question i will answer and number three could you recommend cities in ireland that offer a lower cost of living while providing a conductive environment for doctoral research very good question so i'm determined to pursue my research career in management science and blah, blah. anyway so let me um, get straight to the questions and answer so the first question is which scholarship you should apply so that uh, you get sort of a um, smooth transition of your family relocation in ireland so um, in general uh, the phd scholarship uh, is sometime uh, something between 1500 euro to 1800 euro per month at the moment uh, i am 100 percent sure uh, that the scholarship provider something called science foundation ireland uh, they have increased their yearly scholarship from 18000 euro to 22000 euro a year so I, as a PhD student, was getting uh, 18,000 euro per year for the four years from Science Foundation Ireland. Now I'm 100% sure because some of my PhD students, uh, some of our PhD student, I'll say, has uh, is uh, getting scholarship from Science Foundation Ireland. In short, they call SFI. Their scholarship has been increased. But apart from SFI. Um, in Ireland, uh, there are many different sort of uh, PhD scholarship. Uh, it may mostly uh, from the university bursary, several bursary, but those amount so far I came to know uh, is less than the SFI scholarship. And I am not 100% sure uh, that those scholarship amount has also been increased over the last few months and i think they haven't increased so if that is the case so in general you can assume uh, irrespective of who is the scholarship provider for you you can assume that your monthly scholarship as a phd student is not more than 1500 euro per month if it is from science foundation ireland then you can be 100 percent sure that it will be around 1800 euro um, uh, per month uh, as they have increased recently but uh, other than that and uh, it is not sort of um, more than sfi is providing so it will be probably below uh, i mean less uh, less than the sfi uh, providing that's my uh, understanding or experience so far and so so this question that how smooth uh, your uh, family transition will be is very good question actually because uh, since uh, uh, you said that you have a uh, you have a children as a uh, and your wife so if you if i assume that you are getting a phd position in ireland and no matter which uh, county or which city then be assured so far 
at this uh, today up to two up to at least today um, uh, the law is still uh, that the phd students spouses uh, cannot work in ireland so if you bring your family as a phd student then it will be completely your responsibility to provide them everything uh, and um, it is difficult uh, if i if i see the current uh, cost of living uh, in sort of uh, every counties in ireland so um so it is difficult to uh, i mean as a phd student you will be given to work permit uh, 20 hours per week but uh, doing a part time job uh, as well as doing a parallel phd full time phd is very very difficult uh, to to maintain to be honest so so you can uh, i can assume that you are not going to work uh, but uh, uh, it will be fully dependent on your phd scholarship uh, i mean not only you your family so that will be very hard uh, so it depends on multiple sort of factor what sort of rent uh, you are um, you are sort of paying monthly and what is your lifestyle so it's a whole whole different uh, sort of issue so so this is uh, the smooth transition um, is kind of is very very uh, uh, is is there is no state for or answer for this so that's my that's my sort of uh, understanding so if you get something and get a phd position from some university and that means that you know the which city then probably we can uh, and the amount of your yearly scholarship or monthly scholarship based on that amount i can tell you that this will be the case or uh, the cost of living in that city on an average though uh, but at the moment since you do not have any offer so i cannot provide any specific answer for this but i i think i have given you um uh, given you the answer about that uh, your monthly scholarship scholarship uh, phd scholarship will not be more than uh, 16 or 1500 euro per month uh, all right so next question is uh, which scholarship should i consider to maximize the financial so Uh, so i think i i have told um, in several videos that uh, how to get a phd position in ireland i will gi- i will ask you to listen those f- i think two three videos uh, that that's the, that's the only way you will be able to find a phd position as well as a scholarship if you are finding a phd position you m- must be uh, sh- assured that there is some scholarship attached uh, with the with, with that position okay so it's uh, most of the phd position in ireland is funded fully funded so you don't need to apply for s- scholarship separately there are some schemes but uh, in that uh, those cases are like you have to find a supervisor you have to convince him or her that you will be have to write a phd proposal and then you apply for something called iris research council and uh, there is a uh, one time application uh, once a year then if they like your phd proposal and then if everything goes well then only you will get the um, phd um, position in that with that professor and as well as the scholarship from the iris research council but apart from this i think what happens in ireland is that uh, faculties or the professors gets money from the government uh, to take phd students and they float an advertise advertisement with a specific sort of problem or a specific sort of project uh, what i mean is that with that pro- with that phd the, the, with that advertisement you will be getting a clear idea what kind of uh, uh, problem you are going to solve uh in that phd position with, with that professor uh so so it is like that so it is very s- sort of specific so uh, in general uh, there are s- 
two th two ways two uh, types of um, sort of at least uh, rough look roughly speaking may possible once is like when you and your professor um, uh, sit together and decide some problem or the, some project on the other hand a professor already uh, has decided a project and then he is advertising that position to take phd students who are interested in that particular type of project period so i will suggest that you search uh, i have told in many videos which i am going to uh, give you a link in the description of this video that you you and i already gave a link of a uh, link where you will find list of all universities and institutes in ireland that's it so you have to go to the job vacancy website jo job vacancy websites of those institutes and university and you search uh, phd positions of your interest if uh, for example you are saying management science and engineering so you know the at least the title uh, what kind of title you will be you, in your phd position advertisement will be right so also the department will be uh, will be specified in that advertisement so you will be easily find out based on some advertisement and all the advertisement phd post docs assistant professor all the vacancies are uh, this is one of the very good thing in ireland that they always published in their specific university job vacancy website so uh, if you do not find something there, there then actually at that time at, at that point at that point of time there is no such vacancy in that university it's very straightforward so there is nothing hidden here uh, so you will get there are very few universities i think like eight to nine and some technical universities uh, five to six that's it so if you really want to come uh, get some position in ireland all you have to do is every three or four weeks you go to all the university or job vacancy websites and see what's available for you that's the only way you can uh, get uh, if you are um, trying to uh, apply for something funded uh, PhD position already a decided project. Otherwise, you have to go to the IRIS Research Council website and you have to see at which date uh, they are um, accepting the application where you can, uh, you have to probably decide, you have to probably convince a professor from some university, you have to write an email uh, that you want to do PhD with him or her and uh, and then if he or she agrees then you 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 decide a project and and then you send uh, send the application to iris research council and uh, your application will be evaluated and then uh, it may be accepted or rejected that's that's it all right so now move to the next question uh, is uh, are the years spent phd program counted towards the residency period uh, for obtaining permanent residency in ireland no uh, because um, I was a PhD student for four years and now last two years I am a postdoctoral researcher. So for the PhD and also the master's students, uh, Department of Justice or Ireland Immigration Department, they give a same sort of status, visa status, something called stamp 2. And this stamp 2, particularly this visa status is not recognizable for permanent residency or to the citizenship uh, okay so my four years was not um, uh, accepted or counted as to get the, my permanent residency but if you work uh, after you're finishing your phd or masters for two years in ireland with, uh, with a certain salary then uh, after two years you will be given permanent residency for example i just got my permanent residency few days ago after PhD, I did two years uh, of postdoctoral research. So, so your PhD years will not be counted uh, for citizenship as well as not uh, for PR. Could you recommend some cities in Ireland that offer a lower cost of living while providing a conductive environment of doctoral studies? So, at this point, this is a very tricky and very nice question uh, given the fact that cost of living is very high at the moment in Dublin, Cork, Galway. I'd say Maynooth uh, is also near, very near to Dublin, so it is infl infected with the cost of living virus of Dublin, high cost of living virus from Dublin to the Maynooth as well as Limerick. I'll say everywhere is now has this cost of living has been 
is, is rising. In Dublin, Cork Galway is already raised very much beyond uh, capability of uh, especially students or who are academics, postdoc. For example, if I, um, I had uh, to do postdoc in, somewhere in Dublin, then my whole salary probably would have uh, gone to, a, to rent a house, two bedroom or three bedroom house. On the other hand, where I'm in Sligo, it's a small county and still it is affordable. So as your question is that, could you recommend some cities? So I can recommend some cities or sort of places where the still rent is kind of cheaper than Dublin, Cork and Galway, but there may not be any universities. So the universities are there, I can tell you in Dublin, you have University College Dublin, Trinity College Dublin, Dublin City University and Technical University of Dublin with three campuses. So that's it. And you have, so in Dublin, you have like four or five universities. And then there is a main youth, which is a, a adjacent uh, neighboring sort of counties in, in Dublin, something called County Kildare. And you have the main youth as a main city and main youth university. So in main youth, since um, it's kind of closer to Dublin, it is also a high cost of living area. Uh, and then you have uh, another university in, in Limerick, University of Limerick. You have another one university, University of Galway, that's also very much cost of living. You have University College Cork, eight. There is a technical university in Sligo where I'm a postdoc, Atlantic Technological University Sligo. And Sligo is kind of cheap. And then some technical universities are there in Waterford. So I have given, I have a link where you will find all the universities uh, along the counties. But I can tell you that Dublin Core Galway uh, is very, uh, very, very high cost of living. So I think you don't have to worry about all these things. I think first you try to get a position in Ireland, then all these things will follow. Um, so. Uh, I think career in management and science engineering, uh, you can see the department, you can send an email to the professors, not to me, to, un to know what kind of research they are doing and if, you, if they, are ag uh, they are agreeing to take you as a PhD student, because I am not a professor or I am not a research, uh, researcher in management, engineering and science. Uh, I am doing mostly applied mathematics research, uh, so I have not much idea about uh, who are the people doing management science and engineering. So uh, anyway, thank you for your email and uh, if you have any further question, you can send me email. Thank you.